everyone, Darius here. This video is about something I wanted to share with you a while ago, but thought it wasn't important enough or not something to you know talk about. But recently I got to watching uh, videos on YouTube of uh, celebrities surprising their fans or you know fans meeting their favorite band or singer or an actor live for the first time actually going to meet a grid or something and I thought it was really really fun everybody should have this kind of experience it's not a once in a lifetime kind of thing but for some it might be and not many people will think of actually doing it so back in February a cheering came to Prague and I had nobody to go with and I was like I got my ticket I love it cheering I don't care I'll go by myself and I had the best time of my life and during the concert I could do whatever I want I could sing as loud as I could I could dance as wild as I could and people actually enjoyed my company and then you're among these people who actually enjoy it as much as you do and it's really like uplifting and it's really inspiring than like being in that moment you just enjoy it uh, and then I think you could be like that with your friends, but it's kind of, you do it for yourself, you're all in that music and everybody has a different experience with music. I think, I never thought I would want to do something like that, because I am a fun girl, I'm a huge fun girl, but I'm the kind of fun girl who sits in front of her computer and figures for herself or tells my family or my friends about it, and then nobody gets why I'm fangirling so much, but whatever. So I never thought I would do something like that, but during that concert I go out and I th I'm thinking of going home, I called my brother, told him that I'm going home and stuff and my phone was dying because it was cold outside and I saw this line of people waiting near the buses uh, and I felt like, wow, well, I'm alone, like, you have nobody with you who you have to convince to wait with you, so you just go by yourself basically and I was waiting there and then I just started talking to people and most of them were Americans who has already been on his concert and waited in line after that and one of the girls actually had a picture of him and everybody wasn't sure whenever he would come out or not but uh... <laughs> so I got to talking to these two particular girls, Alex and Vettel and we were like chilling around and they were from New York and I wanted to go there for a while and you know that if you watch my other videos and I started talking to them and like we got similar interests I started with Ed Sheeran, our experiences with fangirling stuff continuing with Glee stuff because I was a huge Glee fan for a long time and then we started talking just about general stuff so imagine this, it's winter, it's the beginning or closer to the middle of February and it's really freaking cold, so they are freezing. I was freezing as well because I, I wasn't prepared to wait that long. During waiting, we waited for the first hour, the second hour and the worker was telling us that Ed wasn't there anymore, he's already left. And then we met Dex, she's like the nicest person I've ever met and it's like made the whole experience much better and there were other members of crew coming out we just, you know, we're, we tried to be very friendly we said hi to them, we asked questions like whenever Ed would actually come out or not and all members of crew told us that uh, he's here like he wouldn't leave and that he would come out, that they would ask and stuff, like, why would you give people false hope, right? And they all seemed really nice. We were all, like, waiting, and <laughs> we were freezing cold. People actually went to the toilet to the bushes, and it's winter, so you can ex imagine how awful that kind of experience might be. And it was nearing 1 a.m., and then it was 2 a.m., and the buses started to leave, and they were like, hell to the no and then there were like 50 of us then 40 of us and 30 of us and then only like I counted only 22 people left waiting most of them American because American 
possibly more ready for that kind of experience than European people are. So, and then there's a final bus, and it's not moving forward; it's moving back. We waited like long enough, and it's our price for doing that. It's like karma. So. We are following the bus and go moving backwards, right? And then we see shadows of people, like members of crew, and like a short person. You you can guess who it is. I mean, I didn't see his, his face, but the whole picture could tell you that it was Ed. So I started like yelling from distance because I couldn't just speak, nobody would hear me. I was like, hi, hello, we're not crazy, I promise. And uh, my friend Alex, she was like, at this point I think they are. <laughs> that was so true. I was like, there are only 20 of us, like, say hi, we waited 5 hours in the cold and nobody like said hi to us or stopped or whatever. It's really funny because right, right that moment we, we were kind of sad. But we were so cold, we didn't care that much And we met so many cool people there And it's like the best kind of experience you could have And then uh, we went to the tram stop, waiting for a night tram And yeah, so I got home at around 3 a.m. And it was the first time I got home that late It was kind of exciting You know, you don't get this kind of experience every day and. Even now, then it's like all the excitement wears off. I still think that I don't regret a thing because it, I met so many great people. I never thought I would hang out with. I think it's like it's really humbling and it's really like it, it teaches you something. I want to inspire you to have this kind of experience, to go out to concert by yourself or some kind of over hangout spot and just talk to people. Just meet new people and you, you'll never know. You might be somebody who thinks the same way you do, who has the same kind of interest, you feel you will never meet such people. <laughs> I, would, I, would, I would want to say that's free, but it's not if you go to a concert you obviously have to buy a ticket. But if you didn't go to a concert you can wait. Along with people wait till it ends and then meet people. So yeah, that was my experience with Adventure in concert. Subscribe down below, give me a like if you enjoyed it, and thank you for watching. Bye! Like, uh, and frankly, I wanted to be like badly. And then, fuck.